Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an idea suggested one, by one of my viewers, which is a day in the life of a dietitian. Um, now as the video's title suggests, I do work in long-term care. So I unfortunately won't be able to show you everything because there are confidentiality issues, but I will certainly do my best to um, walk you through my daily routine and hopefully you can get a sense of what it's like to work as a dietitian in long-term care. So I start every day with a decent 25 minute drive and I'm gonna be real honest, I'm like half dead during these drives because I wake up at 7.30 and I have so much respect for those of you who wake up even earlier than that or at that time because I'm just not myself that early in the morning. And so what I do to try and get myself together during my drive is I listen to this radio show. By the time I'm driving to work, they always have some sort of like Tinder dating horror stories, um, plus music of course. So that's really what tends to kind of bring my mood up in the morning and bring my energy up as well. So I am in my office now. Um, every morning I come in, I get screened, and then I do a rapid test every 48 hours. So for me, it's it'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, and I go get any referrals from the previous day or the previous days, if it was like, you know, if it was a Monday, um, from my nutrition supervisor's office, which I really appreciate them printing that out for me um, just to help me be a little bit more efficient in my work. We have currently over 200 residents and we are currently admitting more. So it definitely, it's, it's a lot of work to really try and keep up with every single one of our residents. So in the morning, I get into my office and I take a look at my emails. I take a look at my uh, voice messages. I take a look at um, morning reports, which is basically just detailing any progress notes that in the last day or again in the last weekend. And so through the referrals, through the voice messages, emails, reports, I try to come up with a daily schedule for myself that is focusing on who is higher in priority. Um, and then I also have actually several care conferences per day, actually one, two, three care conferences. Um, and this is basically a time, um, a sort of meeting for the healthcare team as well as the resident's family and maybe the resident themselves if they're capable to kind of discuss their care in the past year and then what their care will look like or what they prefer it to look like going forward. And so I have those kind of dispersed out through the morning and sometimes we get new admissions as well. So one to two new admissions and then I have to do a complete nutrition assessment for them and take their dietary preferences and check that they don't have any allergies or check what allergies they have and update our staff. Um, so yeah, that's typically how I kind of plan out my day. I try to type up a um, daily schedule for myself. To give you guys a brief rundown of the type of nutritional issues I see in long-term care, many residents come in with things like cardiovascular disease, GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease, diabetes, and a form of dementia. Now, we're not really a restrictive place here. We mostly focus on quality of life. And plus, there's only so many adjustments I can make to the fixed menu. However, I do deal a lot with low appetite, pressure injury management, and dysphagia management, where dysphagia is a difficulty in swallowing. So that particular resident might need or benefit from an adjustment in their food and or fluid textures. So it's around one o'clock in the afternoon and this is the usual time that I have lunch at because at around 12 to one, I do one to two swallowing assessments um, because that's lunch time for our residents and that's when they usually eat and drink. So it's a good time for me to just observe them and test them with different textures. And I usually get free lunch here at, from where I work. Um, it's usually the leftovers from the residents meals, whether it's today's lunch or maybe yesterday's dinner. And I think our food is pretty good here. I've had pretty much everything on the lunch menu um, and a few things on our dinner menu as well. So what I typically do in the afternoon is I chart on all the residents that I see um, as well as chart on all the care conferences that I've done and admissions that I've done. Because in the morning, I usually want to move as quick as I can, just be as efficient as I can. And after any nutritional interventions that I make, um, what I do is obviously I chart them and then I send it in a document to our nutrition supervisor who then kind of updates 
what we call a diet binder here, which is basically the information about a resident, about their textures, preferences, allergies, um, any other specific interventions that um, they or their family or us or that we have come up with. And so that's basically a gold mine for any of our staff, especially our dietary staff who handles the food at every meal. Um, that's for them to know what their appropriate texture is, what their preferences are, etc. I also do weekly MDSs, which is um, a government thing that's required for long-term care homes. Basically, what I do is I review a list of residents and I make sure that the current nutritional interventions is still correct. Or if they're not correct, or if their situation or status has changed, can I change anything about the nutrition interventions? And of course, with any nutritional intervention, I will contact the family to get um, their thoughts and opinions on that particular intervention. And or I can talk to the resident as well if they're capable or this, and especially if they're their own POA or power of attorney, or they don't have any sort of um, substitute decision maker. So they make the decisions themselves. So basically the MDS is um, me reviewing several different residents to make sure that I am providing a sufficient amount of time to each of our residents per month and just following up on them um, to make sure that everything's still okay. And it, and I basically go through every single resident in about three months. So it does take quite a number of weeks for me to get through all of our residents and review them all. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Sometimes I also give a 30 minute presentation on meal assistance to staff, students, and or volunteers and teach them to recognize the signs of dysphagia so they can alert me or our staff. So there you have it. That is my typical weekday in long-term care. If you guys have any questions on what you've seen or heard, let me know in the comments down below and like and subscribe for more content like this.